dear all i would like to welcome you all in the belly stock sensors and transducers i hope you have gone through my previous lecture videos on various type of sensors and transducers today we are going to discuss about what is the importance of signal conditioning or you can call signal condition what does signal condition mean what is the meaning of signal condition in this module we are going to cover signal condition and data acquisition so we are going to explain what are the major functioning of signal conditioning devices and what are the different type of amplifier and amplifier is a one example of signal condition and uh, different type of amplifier such as mechanical amplifier fluid amplifier optical amplifier and electrical and electronic amplifier so op amp you might have heard about uh, operational amplifier operational amplifier is an example of a signal conditioning device okay so we are going to discuss uh, in details about different type of signal conditioning device in combination with the signal conditioning device we, we are going to have a brief discussion on data acquisition system as well why data acquisition systems are required and uh, what are the different configurations available so data conversion afterwards we are going to discuss about different type of data conversion such as analog to digital conversion and vice versa digital to analog conversion so these are the theme which you are going to discuss in module 3 first in the foremost we are going to discuss about what do you mean by signal conditioning device what is the importance of signal conditioning device i i would like to show you one block diagram which depicts the importance of signal conditioning unit first of all you need to know the about transducer what is a transducer transducer is a device which is used to convert non electrical quantity into electrical quantity so we have different inputs such as it may be force pressure temperature etc all mechanical parameters that is going to convert into electrical parameters using the transducer so physical phenomenon will be the input so the physical input will be converted into electrical output using a transducer but the thing is the whatever the transducer output such as electrical signal that may not be having a in a proper form in the sense Uh, the ampli the magnitude of that particular signal may be very much weak or the signal it may be with a lot of electromagnetic interferences lot of disturbance will be there along with the uh, transducer output and uh, that signal level may not be right that is not in the that may not be in the proper level so these are the major issues if you directly take the output of transducer so i would like to say you that output of transducer cannot be directly given to the data presentation unit because the uh, as i said amplitude will be very less the strength of the signal is weak and uh, one more important thing there are a lot of noises including with the signal so we need to get rid of all the issues therefore what you are supposed to do is before converting the transducer output to a data presentation unit or a cro what you are supposed to do is you need to use a interfacing device an interfacing device that is called signal conditioning unit clear it is an interfacing device why signal conditioning device is required because the output of transducer is very much weak the signal may not be strong or it may not be having the proper level or the amplitude is very less so you need to use the signal conditioning device to enhance the output of transducer whatever the signal which is produced in the transducer that is going to enhance by or that is going to modify by using a signal conditioning device it is mandatory for every type of measurement system so the if you look at the output of signal conditioning device look at this we have written as modified signal that means it may be amplified or shifted the level the noise might be mitigated or noise might be avoided or emi issue has been resolved that will be the output of signal conditioning device thereby the signal conditioning device can be to data presentation unit such as cro or computer or whatever it may be therefore signal is getting strengthened signal will be modified actually clear so that is the importance of signal conditioning device okay so this block diagram is very important so do mention the importance of signal conditioning unit by making a suitable block so without signal conditioning device we cannot able to directly connect to the data presentation unit what is the meaning of signal conditioning device can you define signal conditioning device yeah very simple definition is given below see can you read this a signal conditioning may be defined as 
the process of modifying the output signal from the transducer into usable and satisfactory signal using amplification, attenuation, non-linearization, linearization or multiplication or scaling or whatever it may be, maybe in the different function. So that is the meaning of uh, signal conditioning. So amplification means suitable amplifier need to be used. You can use the linear amplifier. Attenuation, some portion has to be removed. And uh, linearization, uh, all the things can be done. Clear? So that is the importance of signal conditioning. Why signal conditionings are required? What are the reasons for using signal conditioning? Signals may not be noise. Signal may be noise due to EMI, electromagnetic interference. Signal may be too small, usually in the millivolt range. That is not good enough to satisfy the requirement. Signals may be non-linear and it is required to be converted into digital form. Signal may be analog one, but the requirement may be digital. What to do? So you need to convert analog to digital and vice versa. And it may require to improve the quality of the digital signals and a discrete form. Signals requirement is discrete form and quality need to be improved. These are the major uh, reasons why uh, the signal conditioning units are necessary. Then there are different processes which are involved in signal conditioning unit such as some kind of protection because directly uh, the output of transducer cannot be given to a particular presentation unit. That is not possible because it may be damaged the output uh, device, the display unit may be getting damaged. So it ensures protection getting the right type of signals exactly getting the correct level of signal level may not be proper so by using the signal conditioning device you can able to uh, meet the required level of output elimination of interferences such as noises emi etc and manipulations of signal in different forms either it may be analog or digital so these are the different type of process which are involved in signal conditioning i would like to show you one diagram which shows the importance of signal conditioning and the data acquisition uh, unit. Every, the, every type of measurement system, we can have an observation. We always have either sensors or transducer. So this is representing sensors on transducer. Output of sensor is will be connected to the signal conditioning device because the signal may not be having uh, that much of strength or it, may, it will be always weak or it may not be having suitable level. So using the signal conditioning device, uh, it is going to improve. The signal strength is getting improved. So that signal can be converted into different forms like analog or digital by using the uh, DAC or DA, uh, what I can say, ADC or DAC, analog to digital or, and vice versa. So those units are generally called as, uh, what I can say, data acquisition unit. Then output of data acquisition unit will be connected to computer. So this is actually the whole, proce whole process which are involved in the measurement unit. So we will be discussing data acquisition system the afterwards. Okay. So please do understand that why signal conditioning devices are necessary. So in this session I have discussed about what do we mean by signal conditioning unit. What is the purpose of using signal conditioning unit. What exactly happening in case of signal conditioning device. And I could mention some examples of signal conditioning unit. Amplifier is the best example of a signal conditioning device. Afterwards, I discussed about what is a whole uh, measurement system. In that, I mentioned about data acquisition system also. We will be having a separate session on data acquisition system thereafter. So, we, uh, I hope you understood the importance of uh, signal conditioning device. Do you have any queries? If you are having any queries, please do let me know. And I have given the definition also. For exam point of view, you, you are better to you have always better to write the definition properly and to draw the block diagram also. If you are having any questions, please do put up in the comment box. I am very happy to answer your questions. Happy learning. Have a nice day.